got someone coming to join us for breakfast. Do you want to taste a fried Huevos? A, a fried spider? <laughs> yeah, I'll try it once. <laughs> Good morning everybody, buen dia. So, cut a long story short, we're just on our way in this video to go on a bike ride through the jungle here in Mexico. Just outside Playa del Carmen. So we're just, are you far? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just, um, just waiting for the guy. The guy's just here now yeah. actually, called Mama Nature Outdoors Tours. We're doing a 20 kilometer bike ride through the jungle to a little cenote, so. This is our ride, he's literally just arrived. So uh, let's go and do this, folks. So we're just testing the bikes out, making sure everything's cool. There's Alex, he's gonna be our guide. They'll be able to get everything sorted. Mine seems to be okay. Anyway, folks, this is just outside of Escaret um, Park. It's a very popular park here in Mexico. So Alex, our guide, um, he actually lives kind of within the park, which is random. <laughs> what a beautiful place to live, man. Anyways, he's gonna take us through the jungle, I'm guessing that way. And uh, once we've got the bikes ready, we're gonna be going. So, looking forward to this, folks. I've been trying to find a bit of nature outside the Playa del Carmen, and um, Alex seems like a really good guy to know for, for that. So he's gonna take us deep into the jungle today. We're gonna to find a lovely little cenote there and have a little swim there and then head back and hopefully, hopefully see some wildlife as well. I'm really hoping for that. Dedos cruzados. Anyways, let's go, let's go. Okay, folks, so off we go. You're on handlebar cam at the moment. Straight off road. So I don't know if you guys just heard that, but this is where we enter the jungle. This is the beginning of literally the jungle. There's Fabiola in front. Cycling mighty fine, mighty fine I must say. Oh man, we're just a few minutes in and uh, it's just silence. Absolutely perfect for what I want. Let's see how the camera bears up with these bumps. And oh my days folks. I don't know how close I'm going to be able to get to this. La Araña. Triantula. And I'm not kidding. That's about the same size as the palm of my hand. Look, here he goes. And off he goes. Holy shit. So placid though. So we were literally just cycling, just cycling along the path here and it was just in the middle of the path. I'm like, stop! Holy shit, that's the first triangle that I have ever seen in my life in the wild. Whew, let's continue. So the road's widened up a little bit now. A little bit wider. It's still a bit bumpy. Okay, so we just stopped here actually, Alex was just explaining to us that this is a small local tiny little store that sells things like water, coca-cola, very basic things. Also has dogs. <laughs> Street dogs are pretty feisty around here too, by the looks of it. Here we have another. La carretera está hacia allá y va en esta dirección. Nosotros vamos así. Very placid. Ah, okay. Are they are they poisonous? Yeah, they are poisonous, but not mortal for people. Yeah, okay. They are poisonous to kill to other, kill other animals, uh, yeah. Insects or uh -huh. small reptiles, uh -huh. small birds. Uh -huh. But for us, it's not. It's not so bad. Yeah. Okay. That's good to know, folks. They're not so dangerous for us. So what you've got here, folks? Basically, there's a Mayan railway getting built here on the Yucatan, uh, Yucatan Peninsula. 
Um, let me just take you off here for a second. Yeah, so there's a big railway getting built along the Yucatan Peninsula to take you from place to place to place, like a real big tourist thing. And what you're seeing here right now is where they're planning on they're digging right through the jungle, basically. And Alex was just telling us there's been people kind of protesting against it, you know, for obvious reasons of the wildlife. But also, as Alex was just saying, the ground isn't safe to build a like a railway on it. It can't withhold the, the weight, you know, because this area that the ground's very hollow in places. Um, it's all like coral and limestone. So the ground underneath here is very, you know, it's not very it can't take a lot of weight basically so alex is just saying in time you know the train's going to collapse the train the railway will collapse and that's what the people are trying to say as well as trying to keep the, the the wildlife safe and things because if they build a train right across here they're gonna you know it's a huge separation for the wildlife anyways i shouldn't have my views on it really it's not my country but i'm sure you know how i feel about wildlife and um, nature if you watch my channel anyways this is it folks this is exactly where they're going to be building right through the right through the jungle it's quite a sad sight really all in the name of tourism you know but like Alex just said you know there's many many reasons why they want this it'll bring huge money into the country as far as tourism anyways let's crack on eh? let's crack on through the jungle so as we're cycling along you've got all of the crickets which are probably about four inches long uh, just flying by loads of them loads of different uh, butterflies as well so peaceful man and we've passed about four or five tarantulas as well which is uh <laughs> yeah man i'm happy with what i'm seeing so far so here we go we're going down to one of the cemeteries here now So from here, it's on foot. So let's be careful, folks. We don't want to be causing ourselves a little mischief. Anyway, just listen to the silence. There we are. It's a note day. It's like a half, half cave. So as you can see, it's covered at the top and it curves round at the back. We've got the water down here. We've got it all to ourselves. Anyway, what have I got this helmet on for? This folks. <laughs> Apparently it's very fresh. You say fresh, no? Fresh, yeah. Fresh. Not cold, fresh. <laughs> fresh? See. Sí. Sí. <laughs> what nice. See you on. Very nice. Woo! <laughs> now it's my turn, folks. Shit. Here we go. Ah! Anyway, folks, that went straight up my nose. Thank you. 
So the guide was just telling us before as well, Alex, that um, in the rainy season, which it is now, the sunrise comes up here. So the water isn't as turquoise, even though it is in this section here. But it goes real deep at the back there. Alex is sat right at the back there, you can't even see him. But he says in the in the summer season, the sun comes right up in the middle here. So the, the sun just illuminates the whole, the whole thing, you know. Okay, so I just missed him. But Alex, the guide, is a free diver. And about five seconds before I've just pressed go on the camera, he's gone underneath, deep down. So basically right at the back of the cenote there, it goes right down. Deep, deep, deep. People come to these cenotes to dive, you know? Um, but Alex is doing it now without any oxygen um, gear or anything. And he says on a good day, he can hold his breath for a minute. There he is. He's come up now. Just right at the back. There's Fabiola. Steam coming off her. Catching the rays. Keeping warm in the jungle. Eh? It's just nice, you know, I just keep walking to the jungle and then find sea. Aquaman. Probably one of the best cenotes I've seen, to be fair. As far as for quietness, serenity, no other tourists. All to ourselves. Goodbye, cenote. Well, how about that, folks? How about that? Time to head back now. We're going to cycle back through the jungle and potentially stop for some food at that little um, store that we saw before where the dogs started attacking me, <laughs> basically. So hopefully we'll have a bit more luck with the dogs this time, but how fascinating, eh? And to think there's thousands of these around the Yucatan Peninsula and a lot of them have still been undiscovered. So anyways, back to the bikes. So just cycling along and this little devil just flew right into my face. You see him? Beautiful little fella. Hello mate. Bit of roadkill folks, bit of roadkill. I have no idea what snake that is. We haven't seen any snakes along our way. Just this poor little chap didn't make it across the road. So if anyone knows what breed that is, what species. Hit me up in the comments section, but unfortunately, he didn't make it across, folks. Sad times. Same goes for this little fella here. This must be like death crossing. Poor little chap didn't make it. So, folks, I think we are at the shop, Cleoxo. So if you know Oxo, there's a store in, in Mexico called, called Oxo, very famous. Well, this is Cleo Oxo. <laughs> so the woman's called Cleo something, I think, and um, she's stolen the kind of design of the Oxo sign. So we're just finding out if it's actually open or not. So this is the little place, look. Very local, Hola. got a nice little hammock here to relax when they're not working and cooking. Ah, yeah. Oh, these are the dogs that started on me before, look. Hola, come here, Stas. Are you okay now? Si? Si? No. Todo bien? Todo bien? Todo bien? Ah, muy bien. Yeah, they're yeah, good now. Ah, ahí viene, lo viste en el camino. Ah, look how yeah. cute this one is. Look at this. ¿Cómo estás? Look at this. Look at this. Hola. We've got someone coming to join us for breakfast.
Do you want to taste a fried huevos? A, a fried spider. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll try it once. <laughs> Dicen que en ese entonces todo, casi todo el mundo vivía en, De el centro, lado. en el centro. And what Alex has also told us is that these guys here, um, these guys here own a lot of land, and they're within like all of the huge parks, all of the water parks, and all of the fancy kind of um, hotels and stuff here in the River, v Riviera Maya. So these guys will will have had loads of land. They own a lot of land. So what they do is they rent their land out to these huge hotels and resorts. So these are quite wealthy people, even though they live a very, very humble life. Oh, it's smelling good, folks. It's smelling good. It's smelling good. Anyway, these guys are Mayan as well. They speak Mayan here. Not Mexican, not Spanish. They speak Mayan, which is very nice also. But yeah, man, it's just amazing to know that these guys have lived here for donkey's years, own shitloads of land, and now they rent it out to bigwigs, the rich people. If you're ever near Escaret, try and come down to Cleoxo. Gracias, Chito. Muchas gracias. Tortillas, papi. Chile. Habanero. No tienes hijos por todos lados. Se fueron. Nada más que pues yo por acá en este room. Pues que está más, está más tranquilo. Mexicali, Ah, sí. Sí, ellos son los que vuelan. <laughs> yeah. Y está bueno. Adiós, Cleoxo. <laughs> Adiós. Adiós. Please don't bite me when I leave. <laughs> okay, folks, that was Cleoxo. Now we head back to the truck. Yeah. Through right. the jungle. I'm going to say goodbye. To uh huh. Yeah. You're just going to say goodbye to the owner and then we're going to head back through the jungle now. Back to the truck, back to Playa del Carmen. I think we've had a wonderful time. Even Fabiola's enjoyed this bike ride. Sí. That says something. So, <laughs> anyways, Gracias, let's head on back. Andale! Adios! Bye. Adios! Very nice people. folks that's the end of the trip we're back at the truck here so that little settlement that you just saw there and let me just explain quickly um, Fabiola just told me that that little settlement isn't even like a it's not a proper village people have just settled there um, with no permission or anything like that kind of like gypsies back in the UK I guess you know like travelers and they just settle somewhere but supposedly they've been there many many years and there's potentially, as you will see here now, let me just take the camera off here for a second. From when we first began, you'll see huge complexes like this, yeah? And they are just literally just down the road from there. So eventually, there's gonna be a big company that are gonna to wanna to buy that piece of land and they're gonna to have to kind of throw them off the land basically. But like Fabiola was saying, it's not as easy as that sometimes, you know? They, they don't make it easy to, to move them on, so. But we just went through there then and they were very, very, very nice people. Everyone's saying hello and waving and all the kids especially. Anyways, they're waiting for me here. The rain is just starting. I need to drop the bike off. And this is the end of the trip, folks. I hope you enjoyed that little trip. Thank you very much, Alex. You're Thank welcome. You, bro. You're welcome. So the company name is? Mama Nature Outdoors. Mama Nature Outdoors in Playa del Carmen. I'm going to put the link in the description box below for his Instagram and uh, everything that he's got basically. So if you ever want to come to play Del Carmen, you want some cycling or any kind of adventure tour, this guy can sort you out. All right? Until next time, folks, take care and have fun. Peace. <laughs>